Virgil from Lot. Swing on the dick, drink, then hit him with the rod. The love doc can tell you how to get it. Okay, you did just say baby fever. Baby fever, I did. That's when you want a baby. I know. <laughs> I know, but I, I just assumed that, you know, baby fever was also when right after you ate too much and had you a, a, a bottle of milk that you should probably lay down like you have a fever and go to sleep and, and be swaddled. As I don't know if that was your initial thought or it if was. you just really quick came up with way you know, <laughs> but I like it. I felt like it worked. Uh it is. It's been a. It's been a nice weekend. It's a. It's a pretty Sunday. Yeah. It's a pretty Sunday. Yeah. There was a lot of rain last week, mm. and uh, we were lucky enough to to be able to be out here for a little bit. Uh, yeah. It's a little warm though. You you and you, warm. you dress I am nice. I'm in all get up right now. I am. I uh, got I'm some nice nothing. suspenders on. Yeah. I, I I went to go meet the missus and the family at a uh, at toast. At toast. It's just like, you know, Father's Day. Uh, it was always to go good, meet up with the family and take dad out or whoever out on a, on a nice outing as today. And uh, I went to toast. And it was nice. It was, well, it was nice until, you know. Until. Because this until. is, this is, because toast is in New toast. Orleans proper. Right, right. There she, her, pe- her people, her and herself, uh, they are from Baton Rouge, so they don't really know much about New Orleans. Or they, they're the kind of people that work hard and pay their bills. Yeah. I mean, they, they know about New Orleans, but what they know about New Orleans is like, oh, they got gangs and, and gangsters and hustlers and shit down there. They, they'll shoot you and rape you and kidnap you and sell you to a sex trade type shit. Hey, I didn't know the niggas was doing sex trades and shit down here, but... I mean, that's the end thing now. Sex I mean, trades. wait, are we talking about sexual slavery? Yeah. Yeah, that's everywhere. Yeah, 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 yeah. I didn't know it was as prevalent, but I mean, apparently that's what a New Orleanian, a New Orleanian to, to, to I didn't know it was like to other people. I didn't know it was down here as much. I know. Yeah, that's what I was. Expect, we, that's what I was saying. That's what I was. But here's the thing: like we're right along because a lot of that shit's going through Mexico. Yeah. And we we're not that far we're from not Mexico. That far. Not that far at so, all. So like it makes sense. It makes and sense. After I mean Katrina, I don't. Lots of Mexicans came here. I, I mean I'm be honest with you. No offense, ladies, but I don't know. I was gonna. Look, I'm not saying that I would kidnap a woman and force her to be my sex slave. No. But if I was, I feel like I could do better than the ones, Jack. Oh uh, yeah, definitely. There ain't no problems and fucking problems and drama. You don't want none of that mm-hmm. shit. That 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 all that. All that comes with a baby daddy, uh, a possibility to be shot at. Cause you know uh, other niggas that you don't know. Yeah, you, you don't, don't want. You definitely just don't want to be kidnapping, kidnapping no New Orleans chick. No, right? cause you don't want like if you're gonna have se- like a harem of sex slaves, which, I mean, it's the dream, but like if you <laughs> if you was gonna have a harem, yeah. you, you don't want it to be like flavor of love. Seventy two virgins. Flavor. Nah, oh, see that's not what you. Well, it depends on what side you're looking at that on. Like you can have. Your whole bunch of uppity bad bitches, or you can have your whole bunch of uppity ugly bitches, you know, because flavor, flavor, flavor is ugly as shit. So either you can have somebody handsome and a whole bunch of ugly bitches, or 
you can have somebody ugly as shit and a whole bunch of bad bitches. I mean, that's the only way that works. Because you can't, that basically it's the bachelor for black people. If you if you had like a handsome dude and a whole bunch of bad bitches. I feel like black people deserve the better, better than, <laughs> I mean, don't get me wrong. I wouldn't take half the chick. I would definitely wouldn't marry, I wouldn't marry any of the women on The Bachelor. I'd uh, be a terrible bachelor. I'd be like, you're super, you're superficial. Um, how are you in love with me? I mean, I know I laid it down last night, but it's, it's a little, it's a little I much. I appreciate all much. these women for giving me pussy on this show, but I don't want, I don't want any of y'all. And you know they're not supposed to, like they make a big deal about like, oh, well, there's no sex on. No but sex, then, you sure? But then like they like, oh, so we. You gonna leave us here for this long, huh? Yeah, and then there's like a camera looking through a window, like real peeping tom shit. Oh, they're not supposed know? to be doing this, but we're gonna watch y'all as y'all do it and not stop you. Ratings, yes. So, but anyway, so. Oh yes. So, to, so the, they don't know nothing family. about. Yeah, they don't know nothing about New Orleans really. And they're just and worried I, about I, their the baby girl getting went to. kidnapped and yeah. sex slave. All that. All that. And I'm like, really? You think I would still be holding this this fucking heist to go ahead and kidnap you after a year and something now? Oh, like they I'm think still... you're part of the sex slavery. Yeah, that I'm trying to kidnap her and not give her back, like human trafficking. Let's uh, hold on. Let's let's pause for a second. I'm trying to <laughs> I'm trying to think. If what can I can I see Kyle? This is this running... is how I got portrayed. Yeah. You're not... <laughs> No, you don't get off the pimp vibe. You don't give that off. And, well, as soon as they seen me, I didn't give that off anymore. So they felt. Oh, they just heard me like, oh, he's a, he, she's she's dating a dude from New Orleans. Yeah. And he's definitely like seven foot tall, has like a lot of gold teeth. Right, right. Uh, Tattoos everywhere says you heard me and shit, and be like, come here, bitch. You know, shit like that. They think they think that I was. That's that what I'm guy. getting. Uh, that's the tattoo I'm getting. It's coming up, bitch. <laughs> and it's gonna be right up, right below my belly button. Yeah. You know. Thug life on top. So that when so that when my shirt don't fit right, and I, you know, every once in a while, that's that's the worst thing about me. Even though I, I try to wear long shirts, but every once in a while I go to reach for something, and it's uh, like, oh, there's Adam's stomach. Uh, like, oh, I haven't seen like you in five minutes. Looks like he's reaching for something. Oh, come here, bitch. Oh, you need some help, Adam. That's what that means. Yeah, you seen it. You seen the tattoo? You know I need help because I'm reaching at this time. That's what I need to get. I need to get a tattoo that on one on each cheek. Quit staring. <laughs> <laughs> one on each ass cheek. Ah, that's nice. That's nice. Or Just, you looking, ain't you? Yeah, aren't you looking? Look closer. Fucking, it, it wasn't. It wasn't bad. It wasn't bad showing up. Like I showed up, but uh, Gentilla, that toast right there is right next to the fairgrounds. Right next to where they had the uh, the jazz fest. And it's, it's a poor area, but I was telling you, like, yeah. I've never had any issues on that street. You've, you've never had any issues, probably because you didn't stay as long. How long did you stay on that street for? Maybe 20 minutes. Maybe 20 minutes. All right. Well, see, they chose to sit outside, so you wait just 20 minutes for your food. You know, and the food didn't get there yet. And in this area, I, I don't know. I don't know what it's up with niggas and flies, but... Apparently, just just in the area where like all of the, the around the surrounding area. I'm a, I'm gonna go ahead and take that from black people. I think what it is now you do have to give credit to the fact that there's a lot of black people in New Orleans, but mm-hmm. I think the issue is sanitation in New Orleans. I don't think New Orleans keeps like you know because we know New Orleans don't keep it cleanly. No. And so I think you know that's gonna attract flies. Like we're out here in a parking lot full of sugar. You feel like oh flies. my god, it is so clean. See, boom, point taken, point taken, because at Toast, in that area, you got more than just, just the restaurant area, you also have the, the, the community around that area, because it's just right here where the bubble is at, where it seems like it should be okay, but the, the amount of flies that are outside, fire, that's, the first, that's the first no-no right there, I was like, all these flies and utensils, not wrapped, just in a bucket, outside, where a whole bunch of flies is just... I'm not trying to interrupt, nope. but like that airplane was just like bother. Sorry, folks. Like we we yeah. we kind of had to do a little bit of a live remote just because like it was getting live in my house. <laughs> so, but so go go let's go let's, yeah. let's rewind. Re, 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 re. I, I I'm terrible at rewinding sounds. The, I, the, the utensils. <laughs> the, flies. the utensils are outside. The flies is outside. So like you cutting and, and you eating, but you also swatting and feng shuiing and shit. 
Yeah, you know, you wax now, on, wax off. This was their decision to eat outside, this right? This was their decision. So there, to eat there was outside. an inside possibility. There was an inside possibility. They said there was many flies inside as it was outside. Oh. Which, which I do not, I do not think I can't, that. I can't eat that. I could believe that. I could believe that because if you got flies outside, if you got a lot of flies outside, and all you're doing is opening the door to customers, flies will be inside. You know how like when you're at the department stores sometimes like you'll walk in like with the with the sliding door yeah and you get like a quick quick burst uh, 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 burst of air mm-hmm. you know what that is that's mm-hmm. anti fly they Are have they have a series yeah they have it designed so that like when the door open door opens I don't know why I took the s off that but when the door opens like the little burst of air is to like keep the insects out oh snap. Yeah, that's, I'm pretty sure uh, Toast Blue knows nothing about that. I guess it's not department store. It's probably grocery store shit. Uh, it's nice, though. I mean, it, it would have been beneficial for them to sit inside. It probably wouldn't be as many flies because these flies were ruthless. They gave no fucks, and they were all big. They were all big like they big. I was like, well, all right. This is where y'all want to sit. I'm going to just get I'm gonna just get walking. Pretty windy. You see, you feel the wind? You feel the wind? So any type of salt shake or pepper spout is going to just... You gonna miss your food, trying to, trying to shake. All right, that was another pet peeve. The wind was out. I'm like, this is way I want. Fine, cool. We're sitting there, and as their food comes out, more flies come. And as the flies come, they're like, well, this is a nice area. This is cool. I was like, yeah, this area is nice. But as you said, you really didn't see much going on. Mm-hmm. You wait a few minutes, you'll see some bullshit. And right around the corner. Nah, not even right around the corner. Dude walks up, and he's just the just the homeless of looking of guys, and he has to be like maybe in his late thirties. And he comes up holding his pants up, looking like Jerome Hart, and, and you know he's about to say something because I accidentally make eye contact with this guy, but I'm with family, so I can't act like I'm supposed to. I can't be like nigga, get the fuck out of here. So I have to be like, oh, it just take it. And his first reaction is like, hey, young blood. And I'm like, oh, no. They're talking directly to me because we made eye contact accidentally. I didn't want to, but it's accidentally happened. How, how does that? I mean, it, it, I don't think it's just because he made eye can, contact. I think he singled you out as like, that's the one. That's from the New one Orleans. I want. To. <laughs> that's the one from New Orleans. It felt exactly like that. He was like, see, I need, see black people profile. I too. need 75 cents from these people. And this the nigga I'm about to talk to. The one with the dreads and the pink shirt. And you dress and nice. I know. That's you why have I have suspenders on. I have suspenders on. And immediately, hey, I'm blood. I was like, Jesus Christ. Because I, I was in the process of getting up. But I was like, I'm with family. All right. And we need to chill out. And I sat there. He was like, hey, hey, oh, oh. I'm sorry. Like, he just noticed everybody else dressed nicely at the table. He was like, my bad. Happy Father's Day to everybody. All the fathers and mothers who might be out there. Happy Father's Day. Uh, I got a father, so happy Father's Day to him. But I'm not a daddy. <laughs> and I was like, man, what the fuck is going on? Why are you? What's up? And he is like, oh, excuse me. It's nice that he has material love. He does. It's nice he that does. he does. He has, he has. Family didn't give a shit for the material. <laughs> they were shitting on him the whole time. He was like, all right. This was uh, not a good open mic. Waiting for the punchline. That ain't funny. And I was still being so polite. They was like, yeah, yeah okay. And, and he, after he introduced himself to the rest of the family turns back directly to me mm-hmm. and says, yo, young blood, let me get 75 cents from you. And I was like, are you serious? Dude, I, I don't, I don't, I do not, I do not, it took so much in me just to hold it back and not go off on him, mm-hmm. just because you'll be very disrespectful right now. And I was like, so I don't have 75 cents. Oh, okay. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. All right, I'm out then. And he just walked the fuck off. He walked the fuck off and I was like, hey, that was that was kind of subtle. I'm glad I didn't react like I was going to react because that, that wasn't too bad. That wasn't too bad. It was like, God damn, I thought that we came to a, a nice place to eat and shit. I was like, oh, no, right here is nice because you inside this bubble, but you you outside the bubble building. Yes. Like, so you going to see shit. And, and then, There's and then, no locks on outside. Oh, no, no locks. So not, not two minutes later, didn't even skip a beat. 
they start eating, come around the corner is this old man dragging his baby. And he not dragging his baby in a wagon, he dragging his baby in a laundry basket in the middle of the street with a belt tied to it. Just dragging. And all you hear is down the street, son, in the middle of the motherfucker. How so old is the busy. baby? What? At least three. He can't talk yet. He can't talk yet. Still in a diaper. Sucking on a nook. And just riding around. And son, the, the, the country hicks that work at Toast, the white ladies, think it's such a spectacle. It's like, oh my God, this is so cute. This is so dude. Son, all of them come out of the restaurant, start taking pictures as he drags this child in a this laundry basket. This sounds like, like an example of mental illness. It does not sound Oh my to me. God. So, and, and I'm just if looking. The, it would only be better if the baby was in the basket, if he was just dragging her around like that. No, 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 not at all. Baby in the basket having a good time. Just chilling, looking around and shit. And I'm like, son, <laughs> are you sitting? And I, I look at the family. And I'm like, <laughs> hey, this is the Wallace. And they like, Kyle, so you stay around here? <laughs> I was like, no. No, no, I stay further down that way, over to the left a little bit, in a little worse area. But nah, not right here. But hey, this is New Orleans for you. Motherfucker made a complete circle around the block. Came back up, back up the same street. Told the baby get out. Yeah, it's like, yeah, go to her right here. And gave the baby the belt to go pull the basket. <laughs> Please tell me he got in it. <laughs> no, baby didn't know what to do. No, 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 he didn't. No, the old man didn't get in the basket, but that would have been That would have been up. amazing. Baby, baby just grabbed the fucking rope and just started dragging the fucking the, uh, the laundry basket down the street. Baby can't talk yet. Barely well, walking. you know, you got to teach kids skills, and he's teaching that kid how to be homeless one day. Oh, that's the best way to go ahead and drag all your belongings in a, in a, in a fucking basket. And it was so bad. It was so bad. And I was just like, I'm, I'm, and, I, and the waitress, she wasn't no better. She wasn't no better at all. I'm pretty sure she went and pet the dog as she waited. As she waited on us, there's a dog like right next to us, but way outside. She went over there. Hey, little pooch. How's it doing? You so cute, little pooch. Like, I'm pretty sure you're supposed to be serving us food. Why is you out here pecking, petting these random ass dogs? Well, at the point where the flies are eating your food, too, I guess it don't matter. Flies just. We, we passed. Uh, throwing we, up, we, vomiting it. We passed wiping their the. Wiping uh, then sucking it back up. The Higgs boson uh, <laughs> line of. I don't know why I just threw that in there, but <laughs> like, we passed the line of, of uh, sanitary. Oh, yeah. It, it's, it's got way past sanitary. It, it, it's, and it's and if somebody's listening, I know I miss you, Six Boats, and I know it's a particle. I, I was going for, like, I, I think the Einstein Podowski Bridge. <laughs> Science! Science! Oh. I'm sorry, Science. Einstein Rosen Podowski. Anyway. I watch Sorry. sliders. Uh, fucking sliders with 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 the uh, who is that? Jerry O'Connell. Ah, uh, that guy. I used to watch sliders. It's a good and show. It was a good show, and then cheesy, I got into Quantum show. Leap, which that's kind of in reverse. I I know. I would just, I just prefer Quantum Leap because oh, it's a much better show. Dude, just Jerry O'Connell. His something. Something gave me a Brendan Fraser feel about him, and I, I just you don't like Brendan Fraser. I love Brendan Fraser. I love Brendan Fraser, but it doesn't seem like he should do certain 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 like the certain movies that he does, and neither does like Monkey Bone. It's so what? What are you doing? And yeah, yeah. It's like what is? Oh this? wait, wait. Was it was Jared kind of one that did Kangaroo Jack? Or was yes. Or somebody else? No, it was him. It's him and Anthony Anderson. Yes. And it's I was like what. Well, all right. This seems like more of a role. Sometimes for you, you just need money, then, man. Then action. It doesn't seem like you should. Let be me let me ask you action. a question. Let, let's let's say that we're sitting out here, and like behind us, we don't know, it, but there's a Hollywood producer, and he's like, Kyle, you got something. I'll put you in a movie, but it's a really shitty movie, but you're gonna get a good payday. Uh, like a good like, I can live off this, buy a house, and then I have to worry about shit when I'm doing comedy. Huh. Like, would you do it? Well, yeah. See, that's what 
see, that's how you got Brandon uh, Michael B. Jordan as uh, the, uh, the Human Torch. I don't think so. I think Michael B. Jordan thought this was going to be his break. Because it's a big... Comic book movies were big. And he was hearing that it's the dude who made Chronicle. He directed Chronicle. And, it, you know, it's like, oh, you know, and it's... And it's Chronicle's good. I thought Chronicle could have been his big break. I didn't... I didn't... I wanted to see it, but I never got around to it. But... But people generally like it, you know? And uh, I think he just thought, like, man, this is a, this is a good thing. They generally like that Fantastic Four? No, no, no. The oh. Chronicle. Oh, yeah, the Chronicle, Chronicle. was good. I, I mean, I knew it was going to be bad, but I think most people didn't. I think most people thought, like, oh, you know? Because if you're not a comic book fan and you hear, like, gritty reboot of Fantastic Four, maybe that sounds good to you. To me, that sounds stupid. Also, I don't like... Like, <laughs> we're, we're really getting off topic here, but I... I don't, I don't have a problem with like, okay, like I was thinking about this because I was thinking about Sandra Bullock. I'm gonna ah. get, I'm gonna get to Michael B. Jordan in a second. Gravity. But I was listening to her in an interview and she was talking about her kids and you know she's got a black kid. Uh-huh. Uh huh. She adopted a black son. I don't know right. the, if the daughter. The side. She made a movie, but she actually adopted a black kid around right. that he, time. Right. He, he grew up and he became a great football star. And now that's why she's rich. Oh, I didn't know you were being silly. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I, th- <laughs> I thought you thought I was talking about that movie for a second. Uh, so, but no, she's talking about a kid and how like he's eight now, and I'm like, is there gonna be a day when he's looking up mommy on Google and he finds out like mommy has a had an ex husband who was fucking a Nazi, and like it what how how do you have that explanation? An ex husband who was. Oh, you didn't know about a, this? A fucking Nazi or was fucking he was, a Nazi? I assume both. Like, and when I say Nazi, I'm not using it like people use it now. Like, everybody wants to call everybody a Nazi. No, no, no. Like, like it don't like have no meaning. how Hitler fucking... He, re- re- he was fucking a chick on the side, and she has pictures oh. of her in Nazi regalia. Yeah. Like... He was fucking a chick, but not a real Nazi, but somebody who wanted to be one, who who thinks like, ah, man, you know, Hitler was pretty cool. He, you know, he did some good Ugh. shit, you know, like he advanced medicine, like killed a bunch of black people, you know, like, uh, you know, like a lot of Jews. Like, you know, what do you need with the Jews? You know? like, <laughs> she likes that. Like, you know, like Hitler did some good shit. So, uh, so he, and he was famous. He, he used to, I can't think of his name, but he used to do like one of those shows where he like builds custom shit. Like he built a... A show for uh, he built a uh, truck for WWE that breaks down into a a, a mobile key a mobile ring. Uh, I remember I don't remember much else he did, but like I'd have to look up the name. But yeah, Sandra Bullock's ex-husband. So she finds out he's cheating, not only cheating but cheating with a woman who again is wearing Nazi regalia. And uh. And then, like, when she divorces, she's like, I'm going to adopt a black kid. I don't know if that was overcompensation. <laughs> um, I had nothing to do with this Nazi shit. Look, I yeah, got a black so baby. Yeah, so someday he might have that question. I, I, you know, I don't know if she prepared him in advance. But, um, but so here's the thing. So getting back to Michael B. Jordan. So I, I realize that there are people who adopt kids of other races. And, you know, good. You know. Angelina and Brad. Angelina Jolie. But she definitely did it for the show. She went. She didn't just adopt an Asian kid, cause there's there's Asian. Well, probably not as many Asian people tend to take care of their kids. Yeah, but but there's probably some Asian Except kids. Except the ones that they can't take. Which mean? Just too many girls. Oh well, no, no, no. I mean in America, not not in Asia. No, in Asia it's horrible. In Asia it's horrible. Oh. But that's so. There's probably some Asian if you want to adopt an Asian kid, or you know, not specifically adopt an Asian kid. She went to Mongolia or some shit. To get that kid, she literally got that kid out of like fucking quicksand or something. She she saw him and it wasn't quicksand, but it was like you know swampy shit, like you huh. know like like covered in dirt. And she she lifted him out of the dirt. That was for sure. Angelina Jolie. I mean, you know, more power to you. Glad you did it for that kid. Well, now she got to stick with this fucking lie. <laughs> Is that what you said? Oh no. <laughs> I think people like that live that lie. Uh, I think they lived a lie. But um. But so you know, cool. You know, you you adopting a kid. Uh, you know, it don't matter what race it is. So I know it's out there. But when I see it in a movie, when I see like a parent of one race has a child of a clearly different race, clearly different. I 
I'm always like weird about it because I always think like, all right, are you gonna explain this shit to me? So like when Michael B. Jordan has a white blonde sister, yeah, that clearly did not come out of the same vagina. Nah, nah, and did not involve the same penis. Like nope. it wasn't like, oh, he they has one the same mama. Facial features or nothing. Like yeah, that. there's, like, and I can forget the facial features just because it's a movie. You got us, but clearly, uh, because you didn't know who the father was until late in the trailer. You finally saw the trailer. All you knew was Kate Mara and Michael B. Jordan were supposed to be brother and sister. And I was instantly like, put aside the race swapping thing, which I'm never a big fan of. What's happening here? What is going on? And I don't like I don't like any movie where I where you know there's a movie that does it and does it kind of right. So uh, you ever saw Garden State? It doesn't seem like the kind of movie you would watch. No. It was an independent movie with with Zach Braff, the uh, dude from Scrubs. Uh, the black Scrubs. The the Scrubs that, that Donald Faison's in. Oh Zach yeah, Braff's the white. Donald dude. Faison is the black Scrubs. Yeah. Okay. And, and the white, white the white dude is Zach Braff. Yeah. Okay. So he Zach Braff made a movie called Garden State. And Natalie Portman's in it. Ah. Have you I seen it? I think I have seen this. Okay, I'm a big fan of that movie. So there's a scene in the movie where he goes to meet Natalie Portman uh, at her house. And they walk into the house and an African walks walks up to them. And when I say African, I'm not saying you. I'm saying a man who's like Simba, Mbawe. Like, <laughs> like that's that kind of African walks out, and he t- starts Mbawe. talking to her, and uh, and he's like, "All right, see you at dinner." And he leaves, or he's like, "See you at dinner," and then he leaves, and she goes, he goes, uh, "Who who's that?" And she says, oh, "That's my brother." And she walks off like it ain't nothing. Like it ain't nothing. <laughs> but, like, he doesn't let that slide. He's like, no, no, you gotta explain that shit. He doesn't say it that way. But basically, he's like, no, no, you gotta explain that shit. And she's like, he's not really my brother. Like, he was, <laughs> actually, this is a little fucked up. He was one of the African children in the in the uh, Sally Struthers commercials with like the flies. Oh yeah. And like she was she was the adopted family, you know, like they would tell white people like you gotta pay a quarter a month uh, or feed them feed them for a year. Months. Yeah, yeah. And uh, couch change. And like he ended up finding them and they live together now. <laughs> anyway, but like they at least explained it. But when I see Michael B. Jordan and Kate Mara, oh, they don't I'm, explain like, that at all. Uh, I didn't see. I, I tried to watch the movie. I fell asleep ten minutes in. Oh. That's, Legitimately that's was time. like, oh, and just oh, passed. Oh, so out. you didn't see the costuming and shit. Nah, I saw the saw the pictures. You saw the thing and oh yeah, well all the pictures. I thought the thing looked good though. Get out of here. Really? What? The way he just accumulated, he looked like he looked like pebbles of shit. He looked like if a whole bunch of rabbit shit or deer shit just came together. I was like, I don't like any of this. I don't like any of this at all. Nope. Uh, I don't know what we were talking about before. Somehow we got from toast and flies to Michael B. Jordan uh, and African children. But Oh, no. Oh, you want to talk about Rich Tyler? Okay, you can't keep... St- Come on, Kyle. Oh, my bad. And we're on a metal table. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> fucking Ghostbusters. Like, it's, it's fucking... Uh, what were we saying? Oh, you want to talk about Rich Tyler? Who's Rich Tyler? The guy that's like, uh, make America white again. Oh, is that his name? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I do want to like, <laughs> I just saw man, the video and shit, and I was like, I didn't oh, watch the video. Upset. I didn't watch the video. I saw, I saw the title. Make, so there's a guy in Polk County, Tennessee, running for Congress. He's a restaurant tour. I, you know what? I ain't going to give him credit by Congress. He's, he's a guy who owns a place that serves. I just serves. came back from Pigeon Forge. I mean, Tennessee's a big city. I think Polk County is closer to Nashville. Now, it might actually it might be out in uh, Knoxville. Uh, yeah, it might be out in Knoxville. Racism trickles everywhere in Tennessee. Man, though. but most of Tennessee is pretty cool. They are cool. Um, now granted, open carry. You better not fuck up. It's always weird for me because I'm so ethnically ambiguous. But generally, I think we can both agree if somebody is like really racist. Like not, not like. Blah, could oh. you not live on my block? But like, could you not live on the planet? Like, if somebody's really racist, they're not gonna be that. 
They're not going to be any politer to me than they are to you. He want to take it back to the, to the, we're to about, the 60s. Well, now you're browner, but not well, that much. Well, I've been much. out in the sun lately, so. Not that much. If you look at these ankles, though, you see that. Yeah. Oh, parts of me are definitely whiter than, you yeah. know, because I'm different shades. But my face, mm-hmm. in particular, is very brown. Mm-hmm. But, um. Yeah, he was like, I want to take it back to the 60s, to the pure time of white. That, uh, leave it to beaver time. And the the big issue I have is obviously he's using the the Donald Trump slogan, and well first let's, let's what the fuck are we doing as a country at this point? Uh, we got we got black kids calling for segregation. We got white politicians saying let's make America white again. We got black people saying that they geniuses and that slavery was a choice. It's fucking crazy out here. Oh, that's Kanye. I, I, I don't even wanna. <laughs> I have an opinion on that, but that's that's a whole separate. Kanye, just quickly, Kanye, whether I like his music or not, is clearly a talented person. Yeah. But he's just a dude. He's a guy who likes yeah. to think about shit, but he's not that bright. And so if he's around, like, somebody that's got, like, a strong opinion on something, he's going to, like, because most people are like that. Most people, when they have an opinion on something, isn't really their opinion. They just heard somebody else's opinion. You're like, I like that one. And yeah. if you ask them to expound on it, the only thing that they can do is expound on it based on what they heard. So if you ask them a question that wasn't answered by the other person, they don't know. They just know that this is right. Anyway, but, like, I really hope the people of Tennessee, like, fucking destroy this motherfucker. Yeah. Like, not, not don't ruin his life. Like, I wouldn't, I wouldn't show up to his restaurant. But, like, I'll be severely disappointed if Polk County elects this motherfucker to Congress. Because it's, it's too much. Like, I'm sick of this shit, man. I'm sick about, like, dude, I don't know about you, but when I grew up, like, yeah, there was racism, but people mostly got along. Like, yeah. I, I, used, I grew up listening oh, to rap music, and my cousins grew up listening to that and heavy metal and all that. And, like, I grew up on the West. I grew up with black people. And every time, like I hear, like a black person, like no, you, you know, it's, uh, like you, you'll do it sometimes. Although, black culture's definitely changed from what it was when I was a kid. Uh huh. But you know, but like oh, sometimes oh. I'll hear people discuss, like, yeah, you know, niggas do this shit, and I'm like, nah, that's just poor people shit. Like poor white people do the same shit, you know? Yeah. Like making groceries ain't a black thing. It's a dumb person thing. Um. But shit used to be, like, people used to, like, at least try to get along. And now, like, like I said, like, I was watching a video of, like, very, very intelligent young woman going to law school, representing, uh, apparently in UCLA, there's the Black Student Union, because there's a Black Student Union separate from the Student Union. And they're making demands in excess of $50 million dollars. That they want changes made to UCLA specifically for black people. All right. Forty million dollars of it is like a black endowment. Um, and by the way, four percent. They the woman says herself, four percent of of the UCLA's uh, student population is black. So they want fifty million dollars for four percent of the black students. Yeah. yeah. Now, I I don't know, but anyway, very intelligent woman, but but clearly like, and she even tells you like in the video. The guy who's talking to her is asking about a life, and she clearly came from, like, a nice family, uh, like, the kind of family that's in Baton Rouge, but with more money, so she went to really nice schools, yeah. speaks very clearly, eloquently, and uh, she tells you, like, she never used to think like that, and then she got went to college and took some black studies, uh-huh. like, ethnic studies, and now she's convinced that the white patriarchy is blah, 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 and uh-huh. I'm sick of this shit, and, like... And Tennessee, just like we need to get rid of these fucking people. Like now, again, don't don't destroy their lives. Like don't go to his restaurant. But you know, I, uh, this this ain't good. This isn't. You're not gonna. There will not be a better country than all this. You know. And I I have problems with Donald Trump. I don't think. I don't think Donald Trump gives a fuck about white people anymore. He gives a fuck about anybody else. I yeah, think I think Trump... it's all about himself, basically. Yeah, and that's I what really... he is. He's a dude. He's a dude from New York who's all about like he wants people to love him. If every fucking, if every Democrat in the country was like we love Donald Trump, Donald Trump would be fucking doing anything the Democrats want because he just wants people to like him. He's just a big doofy dude. But it, you know, like this idea that he's 
he's a white supremacist and all this bullshit and supports white supremacists is bullshit. But then you have people like this that like have this like, oh, I'm gonna make a rallying cry, I'm gonna make America white again, and and then you're gonna have a bunch of idiots and, like, and what you're are gonna you see doing, them. dude? You still stuck in the eighties, the seventies, the sixties? Why? Why? So don't you see That's nineteen fifty four or some shit. Like coming, and, coming together and shit and you wanna do this dumbness with you. Like why? And then what? And then what are you gonna do when that happens? What's gonna happen is they're gonna do news stories on it and he's gonna have I don't know, hundred and fifty people out of this rally and people can go, Yep, see, this is proof that America is a white supremacist, blah blah blah, Donald Trump, blah 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 and it's not like like, can we not get rid of these people? Can we not stop taking people? Like, if if you say you need a segregated space for whatever your race is, or you need this, you need, like, like if you're a nationalist of any ethnicity, can we not get rid of these people? I'm tired of hearing about it all the time. <coughs> you know, you should put them in a concentration camp <clears throat> so they can think about things. I like that, but you should use that again. <laughs> That's a Zoolander bit right there. <laughs> I can absolutely see Derek Zoolander starting a school called a concentration camp because he wants to think. He needs to think about things. Uh, but yeah, no, that upset me. Uh, it's like, make America white again. Like, fuck off. And I'll be honest with you. Like, make I had America to think about this the other again. day. I had to think about this the other day. Because, um, just because shit like this happens. And, um... There are people that are concerned that, like, like they're saying in 20 years, white people will be a minority in the country. Not the minority, mm-hmm. but a minority or whatever like that. Um, and it makes sense. Like, if you think about it, like, because of the way America works, like, there's more and more biracial kids and people care less. So, of course, pure white people are kind of got kind of going to go away eventually in America. Um, and I stopped to think, like, does that bother me? And it does a little bit just because I grew up, you know, in a majority white America. Uh-huh. And I, I asked myself, well, so is that important? Is that really important to you? And I'm like, I guess not. What is important to me is, like, the values that America is supposed to represent. Like, if you work hard, you know, you take care of your kids and you, you, you just do your best and educate yourself, you can do anything in this country. And more and more, that's not what we're seeing. And that's that's what's important to me. Like, if you either want the culture or you want racial purity. And what you, you got to choose between the two because it's not the same thing. What if, what if every every black woman in the world went out and and just willingly raped all the white men out there? bit their heads off but before they got they got impregnated by him so now like that person's obsolete but now you have a mixed baby with the same traits as this person but now they mixed and now you you'll never have you'll never have just an all white person it'll be it'll be mixed babies <laughs> I don't know where you're going I was I'm, trying I'm waiting. to go anywhere I was just like <laughs> what if that happened um, it's like a Planet of the Apes type shit. All I know is you made women. me less interested in having sex with a black woman now, just because I'm afraid I'm gonna get my head bit off. Kind of like a praying mantis. It's clear, hey, it's it's sketchy out there with black women, man. It feels like they'll chop your head off or some shit. I'm pretty sure my white friends that do deal with black chicks. Uh, I know. Does it happen them. a lot? Uh, I've, yeah. I've seen white dudes with black chicks, but it's a rare. It's a, it's a it's a thing. It's crazy. Most of the ones that act like kind of blackish. It's, it's mostly the white guys like that act. They want a Tiffany Haddish. Meaning, like cute, uh, like like attractive, black, but no, in no, 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 way, no, 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 but no. also kind of thuggish. Nah, fuck all that. They just want something black with a big booty. They just, oh. they just, yeah, kind of like Brazzers and what you see on uh the uh, porn. I watched those videos. Right. Basically, they just want something that. I've, I've seen see black in the, in the club. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that's all they want, and that's all they search for. And there's a lot of people that that are out there that that deal with it. I'm like, but like black oh, women are I a see lot it on, different. I see, I see it on the white end. What I'm saying is, I don't see a lot of black women going for white dudes. They do. Uh, it's the sele- 
select ones that have been fucked over in life. That's how I assume it as. The ones that, that really just like... Or or your really centric uh, black chicks. The ones that they look really black, but they really act preppy, you know, uppity. Um, I went to blank or some shit like that. Those type of uh, black chicks. And you kind of see that. That's, oh, that's all you want to deal with is a white guy. You know, but... Hard up black chicks that are real like hood and shit, and they, if they do get a white guy, usually they wind up using that white guy for money or fucking over him or some shit like that. Mm-hmm. But they also fuck him too. Yeah. Hey man, if you go play the game, you gotta be willing to lose. Yeah, I got a lot of friends that play the game. I got one friend that got stabbed two years ago for playing the game. It's like, all right, that's what you like though. And it's always the hard up hood bitches. It's like you don't have to find that type. You can do a lot better than that. Most of them find strippers. Most of them fuck with a lot of strippers. Oh, that's... strippers. Strippers don't. Strippers don't care for niggas. So because they deal with niggas all the time, so they prefer to have a white dude. It makes okay. it a little easier. I don't know. That's just how I see it. I don't know. I, I don't know anything about that. I, I, you know, I went. I used to be like very. Uh, I was never into black women, and then. I guess like five years ago, like a little switch. I mean, don't be long. Like I could, I could always name like one like famous black chick that I was like, yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, like I always use Gabrielle Union because there's something about Gabrielle Union to uh, me. I, it's the face. Yeah. Like, I don't know if she has the best. Like she's got a cute body, but she doesn't have like an amazing body, you know. Yeah, she's but cute. something about her face. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, but at the same time, like Beyonce, I don't get it. I don't get it at all. I uh, don't just, find her attractive. I think she's that's pretty. Beyonce. That's just like people that like Lady Gaga. Oh, well, why? I don't know why. She's I not never attractive. I that at all. She's kind of manly. Mm. Like, not manly and like butch, but like manly, like a skinny, nerdy white dude. Yeah. Like, if you told me like she was she was in drag, I'd be like, oh. Oh, that's what's Makes going sense. On. Like, got it, got it. Yeah, I don't understand that either. Also, I think she drank her own pee. No, that was Kesha. That was Kesha. Anyway, also unattractive. <laughs> Kesha, also very unattractive. But I've never gotten the Beyonce thing. But, like, at some point, like, a switch in my head. And I guess it's just I've getting I've never gotten the Denzel thing. I was like, why everybody think that Denzel is the, the shit? Um, I can see why people find him attractive. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know why people think he's the... I, I actually, you know what? I do know why, why it is. It's, it's the time he came from. Because Denzel came out of the 80s. He looked like somebody so, daddy. He looked like somebody he always looked like he was somebody daddy. Like that cool daddy though. No, but what I'm saying is you gotta think about how many like major black actors there were in the 1980s and 90s. Sidney Poitier. Not that attractive. But everybody liked him as well. And there was even less uh, famous black dudes back when he was famous though. Huh. So you got like him, you got Billy D, and nobody can uh, compete with Billy D. Like you just can't. Yeah. Um, sorry, Donald Glover. You ain't, <laughs> you ain't Billy D. Um, so just by process of elimination, like how many like famous black actors there were, that's why he was considered the, the best looking black dude in the huh. world. Okay. But now you got more. You get, you know, you got a lot more uh, black men out there. You know, you got your like Tay Diggs kind of. Although that's that's kind of old too now. Tay Diggs is kind of old too yeah. now. Yeah, yeah, more chestnut and all that. They're, yeah. they're still getting a little up there. Uh, shit. Interest is, is the one that everybody's talking about. They want interest to be Batman and shit. I don't think that's big James being Bond. talked about. Oh, Bond. Yeah. And Bond. I mean, that would be interesting. I guess. Like, I'm not a big weight race. So I, like, I, I like Idris Elba. Um, you know, I, I don't think I've seen him in a bad film. Mm-hmm. But um, I'm just not big on that shit. I'm, I'm like, always go make make something new. Like, don't don't take something that's established. Like, it don't bother me that much. But, like, him as Heimdall and Thor. Yeah. The Norse gods are supposed to be Vikings. Idris Elba ain't no Viking. Like, nah. like, and they they tried to play with where they were like, Hogan was Asian, although I noticed Hogan didn't get any screen time until he got killed in the third movie. 
Ah. Like, he got one word in the second movie, and he didn't really talk in the first one. You know what I'm talking about? The dude who's playing Genghis Khan and Thor? The guy that died, that got killed by Thor's sister? Yeah. The, yeah. the one that, like, the first the two got killed, up. like, uh -huh, three seconds in. And, and he had, like, that was his... That was his one scene where he got, and he's supposed to be represent the Asian race in Thor. Ah, oh, that's fucked up. Yo, them all quick. <laughs> but I'm not. This is not a big race swapping thing. I don't like gender swapping. You know, like I didn't give a fuck about Doctor Strange with the, you know, the ancient one's a woman now. You know, for no other reason than just like, oh, like wouldn't it be cool if we had Kate Blanchett play the this this ain't this old. Asian man, huh. which by the way, nobody says shit about like that, you know. Well, they they made a reference to it being like, oh yeah, this they, guy? Made, they oh, made a no. reference to it, but like still, well, you know, I don't know. Huh. I was, you know, I didn't uh, mind it. It was still good. I enjoyed uh, it, not knowing that. That, that didn't bother me that much. I'm just saying, I don't care for it. But uh, that's not. I I thought Doctor Strange was okay. Oh, uh, that was it was, shit. It was, really? Yeah, I very, I very Was that a Hendrix that. experience? Yeah. That's definitely. why. That's why. It's definitely. not... Visually, it's an interesting movie. Like, the actual movie... It's, have you watched it without the Hendrix experience? Yeah, I watch it all the time. Really? I yeah. Just, I find it kind of boring. What? Yeah. Like, I'll watch it, but it's, it's not bad. It's just not good. Oh, man. It's a very enjoyable movie. I do enjoy it. That, like all the finger he actually had to learn finger tutting and shit to do specific hand signs and movements I think Very you told joke. me about this one I did I did tell you this is crazy that they have this Krispy Kreme right across the street from a Tasty's uh, oh competition have you been in that Tasty though no dirty as fuck uh I ate there one night there's an old woman behind the counter that looked like she was like five minutes from dying. She from Monsters Inc. Boo. The one from behind the counter. Oh, Roz. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah kind of. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's weird. Yeah, actually. Um, and the place just had kind of. I mean, I ate there, but I was like, eh, it's kind of dirty, you know. Do they have White Castle chick burgers here? White Castle? Like, no, yeah. we don't have any White Castle on there. No, well, I mean, do they have any tasty burgers here? At Crystal. Oh! Oh, at Krispy Kreme? No, yeah, Krispy Kreme. Oh. Straight Why, you though, thought man. Krispy Kreme and White Castle were the same place? No, no, I just wondered if they had any White Castle burgers. Just. No, but we got the. What's the one that's downtown that's similar? What? Oh, uh, I'm not gonna think of it. It don't matter. Not a Crystal's, huh? Crystal's. That is it. Yeah. That's that's the Louisiana version. I mean, I'm sure it's not from Louisiana, but that's our version of White Castle. Yeah, I know. I was just saying, as the burger, the, the, the sandwich, a castle burger that just that size, they're describing the sandwich. Do they have any type of castle burger? Have you had, I forget what it's called, but you have you had the Krispy Kreme burger? Where do you get that from? Well, you can't, you can't, I, well, I'm sure there are places that make it, but basically, I'm tempted to do this, uh -huh. but... <laughs> There's this thing, I forget, there's this, they have a specific name for it. So you get, like, a dozen Krispy Kreme donuts. A dozen. And you have to, like, make sure they're cold, like, probably refrigerate them to make sure. Because, you know, Krispy Kremes are real, like, flaky. Yeah. Yeah, you know, too, like, thin. So you got to make sure that they, they, like, it's solid. And you cut them in half. And then you put the Krispy Kreme donuts on on the grill or on your, uh, on your plate. Grill? And you caramelize the, the sugar. And, and you use the Krispy Kreme donuts as a burger bun. Uh-huh. And then you add whatever, you, you know, your cheese, bacon, your, your, your burger itself. Have you ever had one of those? No, but I have been to uh, Midway Donuts. Or is that, I think that's what Shipley? No, they got, it's right there on Magazine or something like that. Okay. And they, and they, uh... They put, they have like a donut top. It ain't good like a fucking, like a Krispy Kreme glaze or nothing like that. But they do have like a donut top. And it, it was, it was not what I expected. I was like, this, I could have did better with this somewhere else. Um, so I've had the Krispy Kreme burger once. 
and it's really good in small packages. Ah, I can't have too much, huh? Yeah, so I've eaten, uh, I can usually eat, like, if I had to, I could eat three burgers, you know, three big burgers. Three little mini crystal burgers? No, no, like, if I want to make a hamburger at home, I could, I could probably put down three. I shouldn't, and I wouldn't, <laughs> but I could if I, if I wanted to. However, so when we made, I, didn't, I wasn't the one that made it. A buddy of mine was making them. And he made the burgers real small. Like small enough to where I was like, that ain't enough for me. But you also got to figure it's got to fit on the Krispy Kreme. Right? So it's got to be right. small. And I had the first one and I was like, damn, that's pretty good. So they're like little sliders? Yeah, yeah. Like, uh, yeah, or like a White Castle, like look like kind yeah. of small, you know, a little bigger than a slider, you know. And um, so I was like, all right, can I get one more? He's like, yeah, yeah, go get it. So I got one more. I got halfway through that bitch, and I was like, oh, this was a, f you have made a terrible mistake. <laughs> like, it's good, but just like that feeling you just had when you ate three donuts. Yeah. Where you were like. Uh, it, it was it was good in my mind. Right. I do not feel good afterwards. I <laughs> and I got I, like I said I, I ate one and a half. I didn't get all the way through the the second burger. Oh wow. And I was like, God damn, this was a fucking terrible mistake. Um. That's crazy. But I'm you're getting older, you know, and you gotta like be aware of what you're putting in your body. Oh, and apparently, yeah. Krispy Kreme burgers. It's not the best choice that you can make for your dietary health. Nope, I'm, I'm not a big fan of these uh, milks no more. Switching over to almond. Oh, are you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you, have you tried it yet? Almond milk? Yeah. Oh yeah, that's all I drink. That's all I drink now. Okay. I mean, Does I don't it taste drink the it. same? I no. I don't. I don't drink it by itself. I eat my cereal. Okay. Yeah. I'm, we used to get 1% milk growing up, but then I used to always that's, get 1% milk. That's not good, though. I know. Uh, skim milk, 1% milk. I'm like, ugh, Dad, why do you well, want to get this? Do you know what skim milk is? <laughs> all the shit with all of the, <clears throat> all the fats and all that taken out of it? Uh, no. What skim milk is, is, so, they're making a batch of milk, and, it, you know, it's all in this tank. And then they parse it out, you know, you want the full whole milk goes into one, and it slowly goes down. So, basically, skim milk is the shit that's left over at the bottom of the tank uh, with water added to it. Yep. That's and that's, it's the skim at the top. Ah. Yeah. Nah, I hate it's gross. Yeah. Now that you explain it, it makes it even more worse. And then my dad finally switched over. Once he got with my stepmom, he switched over to fucking to to regular milk because we, we tasted regular milk out there for the first time. It was like, whoa, this is like it's 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 frothy. It's got more to it. It's thick and it made the frosted flakes taste amazing. So I was like, fuck that. Daddy finally got right right with milk. It was like, why you always got fucking skim milk and shit? Like, oh, I thought y'all never liked it. Like what? So cereal all the time from there, but now she fucks my stomach up. Really? Yeah, man, she fucks my stomach up bad. I, I, I always wondered. I'm like, man, why am I, why I got gas like this, or why I got shit like this? And I stopped eating fucking. I stopped drinking milk like that. Just use almond milk. Oh man. Well, I love chocolate milk, but I, I don't know if you noticed, but I, I, I and that might have been part of it. You got milk. I got water. Yeah. With my Krispy Kreme, so uh -huh. I'm, I'm I'm feeling fine. Yeah, yeah I got a. Uh, well, that you know, I, I enjoy chocolate milk. I don't know if chocolate milk's made with skim. It's not if it's whole milk, or whatever. It don't matter. Uh, I think it's whole milk. That's good. Uh, it's not. It's not good for you. No, no, no. It it just tastes better than. Oh no, it tastes real good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But yeah, the, doing that. Uh, that's what I that's what I prefer now. Just fucking almond milk. They say soy not good for you, so you know I've been taking almond with the uh, with the honey, not honey, fucking almond and uh, uh, vanilla. There you go. 
Okay. I've been thinking about switching over to almond milk. I just like, it's just like, I think that I, I heard a bit once where somebody was like, how you get almond milk? Nope, the almonds don't have no titties. Like, <laughs> like it is, it is kind of like, eh. Yeah, I do hear that. I mean, but you can, uh, you can get the original and, I mean, sugar, cereal, it's sugar cereal. They're going to do what they do anyway, and it makes the cereal taste so much better. Like, cause it's a different texture. It's not like milk. It's like it has a whole different thickness type of texture. Alright, well, we've been going on about milk for two minutes. Yeah, we <laughs> like, I was just curious, like, cause almond milk is just not milk is, is, I wouldn't say I don't drink it straight. Can't be, it's not delicious like that. I would still prefer to drink regular milk, but you know. Alright, we got, we got that talking about music, uh, not music, milk. That's how we're going to end the fucking show. <laughs> well, Kyle's, I got interested for a second. Kyle's falling like, asleep. Know, I don't know where Wolverine's going, but I'm glad he's here at this bar. <laughs> no, I was going to tell a story on here, but I just realized this is just not working. Like, I'm driving, I'm just like, eh. And Kyle's falling asleep because he's had, got a sugar coma. Yeah. <laughs> the time the bell but here. you like to fall asleep whenever I drive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the, it's the, it's the vibration. And usually if you got a storage, what? <laughs> you find my storage boring. Okay, it's good It's not enough. that I find them boring. It's just that I'm so interested. I want to get deeper into that realm of wherever you're taking me. You're so full of shit. <laughs> so full of shit. Let's just say I went out to Wolverine's bar with <laughs> the Lord of Darkness, had Devil's Food Cake, and sang country music karaoke last night. Oh, that's good. <laughs> it was a weird fucking night. Country music karaoke. Did you like country music? Mm-hmm. Well, the the bar, uh, it's, it's called Gennaro's. It's where uh, there was the movie Wolverine has a bar in it. It was filmed there in Battery, and uh, apparently they have karaoke Friday and Saturday nights. Oh. It's not just country music. There's just a lot of people there were, were there for a country music birthday party, and so they were playing a lot of country music. I get the impression like it's not the kind of place where they would expect a lot of black folks. Uh, I don't know. It's one of those things. You know, you get the like, like would they be welcome there? Yeah. <laughs> you, know, you know what I mean? That like, feeling. like I don't, I don't assume anything. Man, I said these people's names. I am not assuming anything. I'm just saying it's, it's a pretty white bar. Yeah. It's like old white person kind of <laughs> It was a nice vibe, you know. I, I enjoyed it. Nobody gave me any dirty looks. But, like, it's the kind of place that would do comedy like us. I don't know. Huh. But I got a few ideas for other places. And maybe we could do some shit, so. Uh, hope y'all enjoyed this. It's always weird when it's just you and me. It gets fun, though. Oh, I enjoy bitches. hanging out with you, but, like, Sometimes I think you and I just get into our own little world. Yeah. That doesn't necessarily always make for the best shows. Sometimes I think, oh, we just been talking about skin milk just because I'm interested in talking yeah, about skin milk. Yeah, we did. You know? And then I realized, like, ten minutes in, like, oh, we've been talking about skin milk for ten minutes. Other people might have the same plight of growing up with nothing but skin milk and shit. I didn't know that information about skin milk until you said it. And then I was like, Now oh, you wish man. you had. No, no, it, it's... It, it, it's even better to know that now to say that that's what I was drinking back then so when I do explain it again I can explain it in more detail right on alright so uh, close it out I just want everybody to know if you are in the Gulf South we are doing a show July 14th 14th uh, no cover but you gotta be 18 and up at Crooked Letter Brewery, Brewery. in Ocean Springs Mississippi it's out there um it's got uh, craft beer, good shit. Like uh, we've done shows with them before. It's gonna be Kyle's headlining. Uh, we're bringing back Matt Robin. We got another performer that's good friends with Kyle, Geneva Joy. She's never done a M Hog show before. So has she? Uh, oh, oh, like open mic? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Okay, because oh, I don't know. Yeah, but yeah, she's not. Well, all right. Well, then she has done stuff with M Hog, but. Uh, but yeah, so, uh, and this does not happen anymore, 
but I will be hosting. Boom, pop a bell on the mic, goddammit. Don't miss this one. It's gonna be weird shit. Oh, and don't let me forget, Jack Locke is is doing a show acoustic. So you got comedy, and then you got Jack Locke playing in Mississippi. It is not to be missed, especially for no cover. No cover. So if you're in the Gulf South, come on out, check it out. And I don't want to announce it just yet because we haven't found a venue. But we might be doing a show with me as the main attraction the next week. Ah. Uh, but uh, I'll tell Kyle about that in a minute. Because until we get the venue, I don't really want to... But if you've ever wanted to see me humiliate myself on stage, this is going to be the one. Yes. <laughs> so, uh, all right. I've been Adam. I've been Kyle. And this has been the Mailhand of God. And we're going to get back to regular shit soon. Sorry about the fucking being outside. But sometimes you just need Krispy Kreme. Sometimes you just need it. That strawberry donut was amazing. With sprinkles. That, is that your version of Keep It Metal? Yeah. Keep It Sprinkles. Keep It Sprinkles.